Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Lent, and our celebrant is Father Bing. Rejoice, Jerusalem, and all who love her. Be joyful, all who are in mourning. Exalt and be satisfied at her consoling breast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin. Look graciously on this confession of our lowliness that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king from among his sons. As Jesse and his sons came to the sacrifice, Samuel looked at Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees does God see, because man sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, there is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. 
Samuel said to Jesse, send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy and youth, a youth handsome to behold. And making a splendid appearance, the Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed David in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. my shepherd there is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd there There is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want Burden pastures, he leads me, he gives me repose. Beside wrestle waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that gives me courage. Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. shepherd there is nothing I shall want only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come my shepherd there is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness. Rather expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, 
for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, open our hearts to your word. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, open our hearts to your word. Open our hearts to your word. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. He spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva and smeared the clay on his eyes and said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. So he went and washed and came back able to see. His neighbors and those who had seen him earlier as a beggar said, Isn't this the one who used to sit and beg? Some said it is, but others said, No, he just looked like him. He said, I am. They brought the one who was once blind to the Pharisees. Now Jesus had made clay and opened his eyes on a Sabbath. So then the Pharisees also asked him how he was able to see. He said to them, He put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and now I can see. So some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, because he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a sinful man do such signs? And there was a division among them. So they said to the blind man again, What do you have to say about him? Since he opened your eyes, he said, He is a prophet. They answered and said to him, You were born totally in sin, and you are trying to teach us? Then they threw him out. When Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, he found him and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered and said, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. He said, I do believe, Lord, and he worshipped him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. I said good evening. Good evening, Father. (laughs) Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Lent. And there was a story of a guy who was drinking with his buddies. And then he asked his buddies, Did you spill beer on my pants? And his body said, oh, no. And the man said, 
Well, probably it's an inside job. Today, in our gospel, we hear of a, the healing of a man born blind in John chapter 9, verse 1 to 41. Jesus reminds us that true sight is not seeing outside, but seeing what is inside us. The blind man in the gospel received not only external sight, but more importantly, internal sight. Faith in Jesus Christ. Lord, give us not only sight, but also insight. More than knowledge, faith in seeing you. There are two lessons in our gospel today. The first lesson is seeing within. With all the precautionary measures now in place, to control the spread of this coronavirus, we suddenly see the importance of the visual world, digital ministry through online formation and live streaming of our masses. But visual media postulate should not end in mere visuals that entertain our eyes, but does not touch the lives and hearts of our people. More than the external look is the inward look, the inward sight, insight that help us see who we really are and who we can become. Although this virus has effectively closed so many places, offices, schools, malls, shops, restaurants, more and more nations are closing their borders. On the other hand, as they say, when God closes a door, he opens a window. This closure opened other opportunities. Work at home and be with our families. More homeschool. More families are spending time together, sharing a meal. Plus, this virus made people re-examine their real needs versus their wants. Open the eyes of many what is truly essential. Flipping a coin, this virus can make people, like the blind man in the gospel, see the light. See with the eyes of faith. Today, we are celebrating Laitere Sunday, or Laitare Sunday. It reminds us to have the joy of faith this Lent and in this time of quarantine. Do not lose sight of hope and joy. Whatever we are going through in life, sometimes a little humor can help us see the light and help see us through life. Joy and real happiness are a choice. In fact, it's an inside job. True happiness is a choice that in any and all situations, we can always choose happiness. Focus on what we have. The second lesson, seeing what we have. There was a man who lost his wife for 10 years, was in deep pain, and said his world has become empty. Light has been turned off. All is dark. And he was beyond consolation. The light came when the priest told him, focus on his blessing and not what is missing. For he has three wonderful children. Second, focus on his mission. We all need to see the light. Let Jesus lead us to see the light. In our gospel today, in John chapter 9, verse 38, when the blind man saw Jesus again for the second time, he said, I believe, Lord, and he worshiped him. Lent is not just about stopping something negative, 
but also about starting something positive. Thus, aside from fasting, we should all be feasting. This time of quarantine, there are many opportunities to feast on acts of charity. While waiting for the confession to start this afternoon, there were two cars who came in to our parish. The first guy asked if we had a food bank, and I said, we don't have a food bank. And I said, can I help you? And the guy said, I want to donate something. And I told him that we have the St. Vincent de Paul, and the guy went to St. Vincent de Paul and put in money in their box. A few minutes after, another car came in. I said, this must be the first customer of Father Noel for confession. But then he said, do you have a food bank? And I said, no, but we have St. Vincent de Paul. And he said, I have some food to give. I said, you, they have a box outside and you can put it there. Just to show you that it's not only a time of fasting, it's also a time of feasting, for there are many opportunities to do acts of charity this time of quarantine. Lent is also doing what Psalm 23, our psalm, says. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Jesus is our shepherd. His spirit should keep us on track of our continuous and constant conversion. Counterfeit or fake money is detected when exposed against the light. This season of Lent, let us also expose ourselves to God's light so that we may really know who we really are and what is really inside us and lead us to live meaningful Christ filled lives. Brothers and sisters, everything is about a journey to God's heart. As long as we see life as a journey to God's heart, then everything and everyone we encounter on the journey will be meaningful and valuable. Let us set our sights on a journey, on a mission. Be safe, be healthy, be holy. Our prayer for this Sunday is this. Lord, help us to see that it's not what is outside us, but what is inside us that matters most. Amen. I believe in one, in one God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came, he came down, down from, from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and of the life of the world to come. Amen. We are children of light, and we strive to make the needs of the world visible. Let us pray now for all those in need. For the church, that we may bring to light whatever is hidden in darkness and heal the wounds that have gone unnoticed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For government leaders, that they may continually work to ensure the well-being of the most vulnerable in their care, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all of us, that we may resolve to look beyond appearances and attempt to see the face of Christ in all whom we meet, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are suffering from illness, especially those who are suffering from the coronavirus, may God's healing hand be upon them to comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of our healthcare professionals, in thanksgiving for their tireless efforts and commitment in helping others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the recently deceased, especially Jack Marzalek, may they find peace in God's presence forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The sacrifice of the Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Roscoe Pie. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Luminous God, on the first day you created light and allowed it to shine over all creation. Help us to magnify that light and share the light and follow the light as we struggle through the darkness of sin and death. Grant this and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Amen. and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings and grant that we who beseech pardon for our own sins may take care to forgive our neighbors through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which you, your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sin, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts without pouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing into his hands, confessing your mercy, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. 
Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and Eduardo, his auxiliary, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in the new heaven and new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be, with, be you. with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. For our brothers and sisters who could not be with us in this Eucharistic celebration, we will now pray the spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are present in the, in the most blessed sacrament. sacrament. I, I love you above all things, and I, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord anointed my eyes, I went, I washed, I saw, and I believed in God. Help 
Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery, may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh God, we do you. Oh God, we bow down. We exalt and we praise you, led by your spirit. Oh. Oh, oh, oh.